Hey everybody, Ben here with Classic Firearms. Today is a very exciting day for us at Classic Firearms because we have a very special guest. We have Jeff Miller with Beulah Defense with us here on premise today. Hey Jeff. How are you Ben? Good, Good to, to see you. have you with us. Beulah Defense provides most of the primary components and certainly builds the forged receivers for the M14 rifles that we've been offering for a while from James River Armory. Beulah provides the parts, James River does the assembly, and uh, between the two of you, you put out probably the best M14 rifle on the marketplace. Well, thank you for that, I agree. <laughs> I thought that you might. You brought us a couple of new goodies today, and I'm gonna turn this over to you here in a moment because I have a little confusion. Dylan's running the camera, of course. This is a beautiful rifle, Jeff, but uh, as I hold it up here, I don't see a charging handle. Tell me about this thing, <laughs> if you will. I will, this is the first ever left-handed M14. Uh, we are launching these through your organization here in the near future. We're very excited about this. It provides a traditional military rifle platform to the left-handed shooter. And uh, you know, it's one that's never been done before. It, uh, I've had the opportunity to test fire these for several months now to do some long-term long endurance testing on them and what a blast, they're so much fun. And uh, we're getting a lot of, a lot of uh, positive reception from lefties out there who apparently are getting some of the information that the rifle's coming available soon. Well, we have a short video clip that we're gonna tie in with this one of you at James River Armory's test facility or the field that they test fire their firearms in. I know we've got a very short snippet of that. seeing you as a right-handed person, but firing this rifle left-handed was just amazing. For those Southpaws out there in the audience that are looking for an M14 rifle that fits you and is built for you, this, it takes the M14 platform and puts it in a left-handed version for the left-handed shooter. That is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna hold this one up while you hold that one up and we'll go to this model in a moment. But you see the traditional charging handle on this side for the right-handed shooter as opposed to the charging handle there for the left-handed shooter. So just absolutely amazing. We're gonna have an introductory price on those. You've allowed us to do that just to get some, uh, some knowledge in the marketplace about this model being available. Absolutely. And we're gonna be running that uh, starting the week of July 4th. So we would encourage you to look for the pricing on that. Anything else you want to tell us about the left-handed model, Jeff? Well, one other, just a small item is for those uh, folks that like to match tune their rifles, we've left many right-handed components the same that you can typically match tune. The triggers are the same, the rear sights are the same, front sights the same. We did not mirror any of those items so that if you have matched components, you can use those in this rifle. And it's a full mill to back rifle. The charging handle is now moved to the left-hand side it ejects from the left so it doesn't eject across your field of view and so exactly. forth. I think it's great. Left-handed shooters have been discriminated against in the industry for a long time just by not having the options and you guys as well as James River have, uh, have provided an option. So that's awesome. Tell us about this other nice piece of rifle here. Yeah. Wow. This next rifle is uh, kind of a collaboration between some folks at our organization to overcome what we think is the biggest Achilles heel of the M14, which is the ability to add optics. Right. It, uh, it was designed originally without an intention to add optics, and as the, uh, the rifle has aged through the years and the optics have gotten so much better, it's left a gap in, in the market with the ability to really reach out with, to, and touch someone with modern optics. So what we've done is we've added an integral receiver to the forging of the M14. You'll notice the rifle still has iron sights and from your perspective where you are Ben you'll notice that it is completely relieved for the rail. Can I take that out of your hands for a moment? I want to put it at point of drop. Oh absolutely when I when I aim down the sight radius it's gone. I'm not even aware of the rail being there. Absolutely. I still see an unobstructed view. Let me turn that to the camera. Through the peep sight to the front sight directly down the sight radius. Dylan, help me, am I not holding that on the right? I think we got it right there. All right, very good. <laughs> Dylan, you should see him behind the camera. He's trying to tilt that tripod every way he can. That is fantastic, so totally unobstructed. You know, are there any issues with ejection or so forth with this None rail being on top? No, that, that window is, uh, is quite large and ejection is not an issue at all. 
Um, one thing I think is worth noting is if you spin the receiver around and you look the back side of the receiver, you'll notice that none of this rail is that cantilever mount that goes to the receiver that uh, you know typically has tr uh, struggles maintaining zero. Mm -hmm. The forging is modified and we have very, very tight tolerance positional interference fits in two locations on this so you cannot lose zero. What were those positional <laughs> interference Positional fits. interference fit. Jeff's an engineer, folks. He talks over my head quite a bit when we're together, but he makes a very good product. And this rail runs straight along the center line of the receiver in the barrel, at, uh, and it works fantastic for, for uh, mounting optics to an M14. Well, we're excited for the opportunity to sell them. Once again, you've offered us a really good introductory price to be able to bring that to the Classic Firearms customers on both. What did you call this model? That's our M21 DMR. M21 DMR translated an M14 with a scope rail on top and then of course we have the left-handed version. Folks, any, uh, Jeff, anything else you want to tell the folks out here in viewing? I think that's about it. All right. Folks, we appreciate your business. Take advantage of these great deals on what I am absolutely convinced is the finest M14 rifle on the marketplace today while you can, particularly the introductory price on the left-handed model and the scope rail model. We're also going to be doing a very special deal on our standard and our paratrooper. National matches are available as well, correct? That's correct. In limited quantities. Folks, we appreciate your business. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Ben. God bless.